Hey everyone, Muckluck Douglas Bartholomew Original Esquire the Fourth here, and this is a guide on what I feel are the best quality of life purchases from the Guild Wars 2 gem store. Two disclaimers before I continue. Number one, I don't work for Arena Net or have a referral link for gem store purchases. I make zero money if you choose to buy something from the gem store. I'm not trying to convince you, just sharing my opinions. Number two, if you are really new to the game and have paid to win forming on your lips, check yourself. Guild Wars 2 gem store items can be bought with in-game gold also, so this information is useful to end game free to play players just as much as people who are willing to spend a few bucks. Let's continue! Many of the items here I have a separate Is It Worth It video on, but I found myself in need of a Top Choices video as I'm getting asked this so frequently. The Copper Fed Salvage O Matic. More detailed information in the Is It Worth It video. The Copper Fed is, simply put, an infinite use low quality salvage kit. If you put it in a shared account slot, it can be used by all of your characters at any given time. If you are aiming for efficiency, it is the best choice for blue quality items as well. For sheer quality of life, this is my top pick. Number two, a single increased material storage. More detailed information in the Is It Worth It video, the increased material storage increases how much of each material you can hold by 250 per purchase. You can buy up to seven, increasing your material storage from 250 starting out to up to 2,000 total. So by simply buying it one time, you double how many of all of these materials you can hold, which was a very nice change. Living World Seasons. I'm making this video during the Ice Brood Saga. For anyone who is getting into the game now or later on, you will be missing some of the Living World episodes from the past. Living Worlds, which are basically DLCs, are free at the time of their release, but they cost gems to unlock later on. Living World Season 2 is just story, but it has a few ascended items and a useful converter. Living World Season 3 adds six new maps to your world map and has ways of farming many ascended items. Living World Season 4 has six new maps as well, and when combined with Path of Fire, allows you to get the Roller Beetle and Skyscale mounts, as well as more ways to get ascended gear and gear with unique stats, such as Plague Doctors and Diviners. The Ice Brood Saga has more ways of getting top gear, more new zones, and some useful masteries such as Stealth for your mount, and the Drizzlewood Coast, which is currently one of the most profitable farming zones in the game. Number four, the Mislock Passkey. The Mislock Sanctuary Passkey is the first item to be listed that is not always on the gem store. It shows up periodically and gives permanent access to what is, in my opinion, the best town in the game. With waypoint access to all of Tyria, all town necessities, and fractal room merchants in a small space, and you can teleport to and from it, by clicking the scroll. This means that alts parked in obscure locations can go to town, then go back to the alt park spot just by using the scroll twice. A great item in the shared account slot, but less useful if you don't use alt parking at all. Number five. There is a big difference between the items I've listed so far and this last one. Unbreakable gathering tools, or specifically if they are available on the shop at the time that you're looking for them, the volatile magic gathering tools. It is a really nice change never having to worry about buying new gathering tools or carrying spares ever again. The reason I said I leave a big space between the last item and this one is the cost. They are usually quite costly, more so than the expansions themselves when they show up in the gem store. So I'd say make sure that you are deeply in love with the game and going to play it for a long time before you make this purchase. That said, it is amazing. And that's it for my top picks. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the like button to help us out with the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to see more similar content. If you have any questions or tips or tricks related to this topic you'd like to share with other people, please feel free to put them in the comments down below. And if you'd like to talk to me directly, you could join us on the Discord or talk to me on Twitch every evening. That's it for today. Happy shopping!